Olá, bem-vindo você. Today I got this car L and H from WE Tech GBBRs. Before I talk about the airsoft, I want to talk a little bit about the real steel version. I don't have a SCAR L or H in the VR game that I use, but I have the MK20, which is a SCAR variant made for precision. The SCAR was developed in 2007 and given to the troops in 2009 by the end of designing process. Designed by FN Herstal, which is a Belgian company, two models were initially created, the MK16, which is the SCAR L in 556x45, and the MK17, SCAR H762x51 or 308. Two other calibers were requested but were not attended by FN because they will have to change a lot in the gun to make it work. In 2013, US Army stopped buying the 5.56 version and kept buying the 308 version. In 2015, over 20 countries were using this car, so that's just a little bit of history of this gun. Let's get to the airsoft. The mag release is ambidextrous and is right above the mag well on both sides. This gun has a bolt catch which stops the gun from firing when empty and it can be released by pressing either the bolt catch or pulling back on the charging handles lightly. The front side flips up and you just gotta press this little button right here to pull it up. The rear side just flips up. The rear side is an aperture and has both the windage and elevation adjustments. The stock is adjustable in six positions. Also have a cheek rest adjustment in two different positions. and also is a foldable stock and it locks very firmly in place it has five sling positions two on the front two on the back on the left and another one on the right The selector switch is a little different just in position on both guns. On both it has a safe position, a semi and a full auto. When it hammers down you can go to either safe or full automatic and on safe you cannot pull the bolt back. To adjust the hop up you just turn a little dial right above the barrel. As usually as most WE guns it comes with a little speed loader. It's not completely necessary, but it's a lot easier to fill using this specific speed loader. To fill the mag with gas in the L version, the intake valve is right at the bottom of the mag. On the age version, this valve is right at the back of the magazine. There is a grenade launcher specifically designed for this car. You release it right here. It turns both sides for easy placement of the grenades. The safety is right on the back here.
to put the grenade, you just insert the grenade. Any 40 millimeter grenade will work on this, except by ICS with the cap on. To put the grenade launcher on the gun, you just flip these things here and then just put it on the gun. After you put it in place, you just lock it like this. There are different triggers on this gun. One is for 5.56 and the other one is for 7.62. But the 762 works on both guns. That's Chrono with, with 0.2 gram babies. So that was it. Hope you guys liked it. I'll be soon posting a gameplay with it. Leave a like, subscribe. Feel free to thumb it down if you didn't like. Remember that you can also subscribe if you have thumbed it down. Já já tem mais.